All right. So today we have back on the podcast, uh, Keegan Umali. It was literally a year ago to this week that yeah. we talked last mm-hmm. about your college search process. So you're a senior, right? Yep. You're nearing your, se- you were at the beginning. Wait, no, you were still a junior yeah. when we talked <laughs> back in April of what would that have been? 2022. Mm-hmm. You were just starting your college search process. Um, and fast forward, you're now ending your senior year. Yep. So you've gone through the whole campus visits, the application, the financial aid. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. You've made your choice. I see you representing um, today. We'll get to to your <laughs> choice uh, here soon. But um, but yeah, you were you were kind of at the you know when we last talked, you were in sort of a very like consideration phase. You weren't really sure what you were looking for. I remember some of the schools that you were like maybe so. Yeah. Like you were looking at Arizona State and University of South Carolina, and you've ended up somewhere very opposite know, of I those two <laughs> places. That. But walk me through. So, like, you were there where you were thinking, and those were those were places that you know uh, that you had family or experience. Mm-hmm. You know, like you you know you have you've spent a lot of time in South Carolina. Yeah. Um, you had spent some time, maybe, or your mom had spent some time, near, you know, in Arizona recently when you were still thinking. So you were kind of thinking like parts of the country at that time. Yeah. How, t- Take me back to like the su- like the summer when you were kind of like getting a little more, you know, maybe focused on your college search process. Um, I just like remember we were going to take me and my mom were going to take my senior pictures, mm-hmm. and my senior photographer she has I think seven or eight kids. Oh wow! And she had already put like four or five through the college process, and okay. so she my mom was like, Robin, do you think this like it's a good time to start looking or are we like behind schedule? And she was like, oh no, you're totally fine. You have yeah. plenty of time to go to our schools to like make decisions and all this stuff. And so I was like kind of relieved because I was like a little skeptical. I didn't like really want to start because I, I feel like once I started, it would start getting real. Right. And so I was like a little nervous at that point, mm-hmm. but I was like, I just want to take my time, go slow. Like mom, I felt like mom was rushing me just a little <laughs> bit, but um no yeah I just remember I didn't re- haven't done much like college searching research sure. at that point so yeah. I just knew like big school names I didn't really mm-hmm. like Butler I didn't really like know of at mm-hmm. the time so mm-hmm. I just remember that part just being like I wanted to take things slow mm-hmm. to start yeah um when did you start visiting college campuses um my first tour was at Butler in okay. March because that was I had like applied first and okay. waited until I got into like all the schools mm-hmm. that I applied to and then I went on like admitted student days yeah. where like only people that were had been admitted were going and I got like tours of like the different colleges like liberal arts and sciences and um health health sciences and pharmacy and like I got to see their different libraries and um talked to my counselor who mm-hmm. I had emailed previously, but I got to meet him in person and other students who are also interested in like going on the same career path as me. So mm-hmm. that was yeah. cool. Shout but out it, to Chris Potts, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we both know Chris Potts. Yeah. But um, it was snowing. Oh, so nice. when I went, I was like, hmm, is it going to be like this all the time? But <laughs> yeah, it was cool. I liked it. Awesome. So so that's interesting that you went ahead and you applied to the colleges that you uh, were considering before you went to campus. Mm-hmm. Totally a, a legit way to go about yeah. it. How many colleges did you apply to? I just answered a question on a survey recently for like my senior exit survey yeah. and I counted them up and I applied to over 10. So oh my gosh. Like 10 or 11. So were they all similar size to Butler? Were they all kind of pri- small, medium private schools? Yeah. Um, Butler's about like 5,000 and then like Marquette I also applied to that's like closer to eight or 9,000 mm-hmm. um, and yeah so they were all relatively medium size none of them were like super tiny or super huge. Yeah Um, through the research process though I think that you were talking um, last year uh, which is so weird like that you were a junior know. then and now you're a senior yeah. it feels like it should be longer than a year um, but you were using Raise Me mm-hmm. as a tool to kind of like search for colleges. What else, or to do your research, I should say, uh, what else, what other tools have you used since then to kind of narrow down your choices? Well, for my English class, we had to write a college application essay. Mm-hmm. So um, I got onto like 
college board and I made a common app account, which mm-hmm. really helped um, because I could like filter out like different schools based on like um, free application fee or like size and location. And that really helped because it gave me a bunch of lists of colleges that I have never heard of or I was like, oh, yeah, I know where that is. Those are bigger colleges. Um, but like after writing the essay in English class, it like really helped me like send like I sent it out to all the call all the colleges when I was um applying and all my applications and um I used that and just like other students like from seniors last year that mm-hmm. like went out to different colleges or I don't know just like social media in general. Mm-hmm. What social media do you use the most? Uh, for college, probably just like Instagram because okay. like. Butler has like a class of 2027 page. So like I I've followed a bunch of girls off that page uh, mm-hmm. that I've seen that are like committed to Butler and they have like different accounts for different clubs that they have. And same with like a bunch of other colleges. Mm-hmm. Um, when you think back to like the <clears throat> communication that you got, you know, because you said that was Butler the first one that you applied to? One first, of the first ones. One of the yeah. first. Um, when you think back to the communication, was there something about the way that <clears throat> Butler communicated with you like of course you know we mentioned your admissions counselor Mm -hmm. which is a big part of it usually at a private school too but um what about like the emails or the you know anything else about the process yeah I liked that their the way they emailed me it wasn't always like do this do this hey apply here like like a bunch of other colleges were Mm -hmm. you Mr. Potts was like really nice and like the emails were like just like hey make sure you do this or like just reminding me of certain things but Mm -hmm. they weren't just like filling up my inbox Mm -hmm. like some others were and I could just tell like the communication was like really genuine and Mm -hmm. that he like actually wanted like to help me in my college process yeah that's awesome um talk to me a little bit more about like how because I think at the time two a year ago you were thinking health sciences but you hadn't quite landed right like on Mm -hmm. what you you know Tell me about like choosing your major. Are you like a hundred percent into the major that you want, or are you still kind of like that's where I'm kind of going, but I'm flexible? Yeah. So I wanted to, like become a physician's assistant. Mm-hmm. So I researched like what types of majors successful physician's assistant majored in, and mm-hmm. biology was one of the top ones. And I was like, okay, I'm taking bi- AP biology right now, so mm-hmm. I already got like a step in to the kind of like the field and the curricula. So that's my intended major. Um, but when I went to Marquette and toured there, a girl told me that, like my tour guide, she told me I came here as a biological sciences major. Um, and she did these, the, the, she came to campus these days where like she got to go with like a student who was also that major and like kind of go through their day, mm-hmm. like what classes they took. And she said that was more like research based and she wanted more like, um, with cadavers and like mm-hmm. more like human biology kind of mm-hmm. stuff. So she switched to biomedical. Mm-hmm. So I am in like the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences at Butler and Mr. Potts said that biology is probably like it would be best to stay in that college versus the College of Health Sciences and Pharmacy. So I'm going to trust him and see what it's like when I get there mm-hmm. um, as a biology major. I'll just keep it like that. Yeah. The, the the friends of yours that are that are uh, graduating high school and headed to college uh, how are most of your friends and classmates have they already chosen a major or are a lot of them still kind of thinking and deciding um from what I've heard from most people they know what they're gonna major in there's a lot of business and marketing or nursing mm-hmm. or like psychology and stuff like that um but then there are some that are like undecided or like like their major and minor, are like two different things to see what they like and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Do you, um, you know, I feel like where you are right now, right? Like with it's uh, what it's the end of April, May first, which is like a the big national big decision, decision day, day that for and my birthday and your birthday, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know, uh, obviously colleges, it's a big you know date on the college and enrollment side, but it's also kind of this like where I feel like students can kind of relax, right? Because I yes. feel like this that whole beginning of the senior year, not only are you like paying really close attention to your academics and things like that to, you know, it, as part of your application process, but the whole application process really heats up and it yeah. becomes intense. So yeah. how, how are you and your friends kind of feeling now? Well, 
I'm relieved that I finally like made a decision because out of I was my mom had had a reunion with a bunch of my grade school parents mom, friends parents mm-hmm. and um all of them were like Keegan and then four like three other kids from our gra- my eighth grade graduating class were the only ones that still didn't know where we were going <laughs> so like everybody already knew what they were doing what they were going where they were going and I that like made me like a little more nervous because I was like I need to choose this place I want to like just choose one and relax and yeah. um so after I went tour Marquette I was very torn um and so I, I it like extended because I was like I want to know by mid March after I tour because I toured like March fourth mm-hmm. and that didn't happen and I was like hopefully by like the end of April and so that's where I am now and Mm -hmm. I was decided and I'm pretty sure my friend Kate who I also toured Marquette with she's decided but I know she's like she's like um I'm just nervous to like hit that accept button online I was like Kate you just gotta do it (laughs) you just gotta commit and she was like I know it's just nervous nerve-wracking so your friend hasn't hasn't quite made the the actual she, physical yeah button push yeah she, <laughs> but she's, she's pretty sure she's going to marquette okay she, it's just like pushing that button yeah and yeah committing and like being final is just what like scares her a little bit do you have any friends that are um that are committing like depositing committing but to like more than one school and like gonna make a decision later i don't think i've had i don't yeah. have any of them no yeah. all of them are like pretty much like yep I'm going to Alabama or I'm going mm-hmm. to Mizzou or mm-hmm. something like that. Um, so let's talk about that decision, right? You had two kind of similar-ish, you know, um, schools yeah. that you that were on the, the final top um, two. What, what kind of played into your decision? Was there any kind of influencers <clears throat> that became part of the conversation with you? Um, I know obviously like your mom kind of steered yeah. some of the initial like initial parts of the process and yeah. where to start looking. Um, so after I toured Marquette, I went up with my friend Kate and her mom and sister, mm-hmm. um, cause my mom couldn't come. Mm-hmm. And so I was talking to her, I was like, cause they, Kate had also toured Butler before I did. Mm-hmm. And so I was talking to her mom, I was like, Laura, what do you think? Like, give me your pros and cons for each. And she gave me like her input on what she thought. Um, and then it was funny, my bio teacher, he's like one of my favorite teachers and, um, we had like a free day in class. So he like let me draw on the whiteboard like B and M for Butler and Marquette. <laughs> and me and my friends just made like a comparative list. And we were talking about like price, environment, distance, like if I can bring a car, like what ca- types of jobs I could have on campus. Like, I don't know. Um, and so they really helped me like decide like what factors were like the most important mm-hmm. um and then after before everybody left for that class I was like all right be your m and <laughs> at the end of the class it was like 15 to 2 and my teacher's <laughs> input was also butler and my I talked to my mom and my mom was like if I were you I'd choose butler and Chad was like if I were 18 I'd choose butler and <laughs> Stuff like that. But my sister's like, no, go to Marquette. It's less expensive. And I'm like, Jillian just doesn't want me to put our family in debt. And I'm like, Jillian, it's okay. She's but, like, leave some college tuition money for me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I just like lots of list making. Me and my mom made an Excel sheet yeah. comparing prices and what she'll put in, what my dad puts in, like mm-hmm. scholarships and grants that I've gotten and room and board and just comparing like my mom's a very organized person, so yeah. she just wanted to see it all laid out visually, which sure. really helped. Yeah. So let's talk about scholarships and financial aid too, because the the raise me the scholarships, the micro scholarships that was part of like your early sort of like that got you kind of generating kind of interest and in research. Mm-hmm. How did that all like? Did, did the financial aid process feel? Well, how did it feel? Um, in the scholarships, like applying for financial aid was like different, and like I've never done it before, and like. My mom helped me. Um, we did it like on our way home from Colorado in the car because <laughs> we had nothing else to do. Mm-hmm. Um, so she just like kind of walked me through it, showed me how what she was doing. And then like we had to wait a little bit to get like the package back to see like how much I got. And I also had a meeting with the financial aid counselor from Butler with my mom after we made our spreadsheet. Mm-hmm. Um, and so my mom had to like make some changes just like to see if we could get more money to my FAFSA. Sure. And that helped. And she was just like explaining how freshmen get like 
the max you get is like 5,500. And then right. sophomores, you get 6,500. And like seniors and juniors and seniors get 7,500. So it was like interesting to see how like your prices increase as you go through the years of college. Right. And I don't know. I was like, it's just interesting, but like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is a, it's, did you feel intimidated by the whole process of the money um, or, or even now? Yeah. Like, like just money, the money mm-hmm. part of college in general was yeah, intimidating. For sure. So you you went through an exercise in class uh, with your friends, mm-hmm. right? Uh, doing the uh, kind of pros and cons list. Um, but for like for you, like what was the like? This is why. Like this is why I'm going to make this this choice. Did it come um, down to a, a specific? I think reason? distance mm-hmm. was a big factor because originally I was like, I don't want to be close to home. I don't want to <laughs> see any of you guys. I want to go somewhere completely new where I don't know anyone right and I was like let's go like five six hours but no now I'm just like when I we made the drive um Marquette was only five and a half and Butler's three and a half and I was like that's that's like far enough like mm-hmm. my mom's not gonna come sneak up on me on the weekend just to, <laughs> um but yeah I think distance played a really big okay part in mm-hmm. my decision just because like I want to be able to take my car and like um not be like super far and I don't know um, feel kind of close to home but then I think another factor was like price and scholarships obviously mm-hmm. and then just the environment like Marquette's was a way bigger campus but um and I liked Butler's just because it felt like a like that natural college environment like it all felt like circular and like I don't know it's like yeah. more like real kind yeah. of yeah Okay. Is there anything that, uh, you know, in terms of the process, right, from any of the school, and you don't have to, like, name the schools, but, like, you know, there's lots of colleges, obviously, especially if you applied to 10. Um, yeah. I'm assuming that you, you got lots of communications from those mm-hmm. 10 that you applied to. Um, what information was most important to you as you started to get communicated with, especially after you'd been admitted? Um, I think parts of the like the programs that mm-hmm. they were telling me that I got into um I don't know just like they a lot of them talked about like certain career f- like college fairs mm-hmm. that they were visiting they're like hey come visit me or whatever like we'll reach out and we'll help you or just like a lot of the financial aid um emails that I got they're like you can schedule a meeting with an, a counselor to talk about it we'll help you like understand and get through it that was really important to me um just because that was like very new to me. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, just like programs, what I would be given, like what were the requirements for like living um, on campus, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Anything that stood out to you, like as far as like this was a really good, you know, thing or, you know, piece that you got or anything? Um, Because you got like an admit package, right? Yeah, they all, uh, yeah, a bunch of schools sent me like actual packages and like Mm -hmm. you'd open it and you're like, congrats, you or whatever, like um, sent me a bunch of stickers. Um, (laughs) But like one thing I liked about Butler was they're like, here, take this little quiz and you can find out like what kind of bulldog you are, Mm -hmm. like what like personality, whatever. And I took it and it was like, you are this one. It's like leadership and I don't know, like f- kindness and stuff like that. So, and then it would like show me students or like faculty members that were also a part of that, like bulldog, I don't know. Type. Yeah. yeah. Type. Nice. Um, so it's kind of like a personality type quiz, but that was cool. Just like see what other people um, are like, uh, what's the word, involved in. Mm-hmm. Um, based on their type yeah so. similar to you yeah so, so you're you know you've made your decision you've, you've you've hit the button to confirm um now what are you gonna do like now where's your head at now what what are you um, um thinking about about college well so I met my roommate through Instagram okay um because I followed like the butler 27 page and she saw that I followed it um because I hadn't like posted my picture on it or anything mm-hmm. and um so she followed me on Instagram and then like added me on Snapchat and she was like hey are you going to Butler and I was like I don't know I'm like still in the like decision process and she was like oh that's cool like she has an older brother that goes there so she's also going there and she was like if do you want to be like roommates if you go and I was like 
sure like <laughs> why not um so i did a little like stalking and she yeah. like she seemed normal and like really nice um and now that I've like finally made my decision, she's like so happy and she's like talking to me about like dorm decorations nice. and like she's like, I'm so excited. We're going to have so much fun. And I'm like excited to meet you. And I was like, yeah, we should like meet up over the summer or something just yeah. like before orientation and everything. But that yeah. is exciting. Is. Um, is she from the Indianapolis area or? She's from Ohio. Oh, wow. Okay. But so yeah. Both but she like knows that. the college really well since her brother mm -hmm. goes there. Yeah. That's awesome. Cool. What are you looking most forward to? I don't know, just like meeting, <laughs> meeting new people, um, just like experiencing college life. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know, like seeing if it lives up to everything that people say. <laughs> I know it'll be different just because like based on like where I because I'm going to a smaller school, but just like meeting new people, seeing where all my old friends go and what they do and mm -hmm. just like experiencing and everything. Yeah. Cause you have several friends that were a year ahead of you that are kind of in their first mm -hmm. year of college to yeah. kind of, so you hear all of those stories too. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so then for the, the, the students that are where you were a year ago, right? So the juniors mm -hmm. right now, um, and their families, is there anything, any, any good advice now that you're on the other side? Um, you, would give them? you have time. <laughs> I know I used up a lot of it and I waited <laughs> very long for my decision, even though like I know some kids are like, I want to go here. I'm going to make the decision. Like some kids knew like at the end of their junior year where they were going mm -hmm. or they had already committed or something. Um, but just know you have time, lots of it. Uh, don't rush the process because you're going to like miss it or don't want to miss out on anything that you're like going through now. If you're just focusing on college, um, I don't know, just weigh all of your options. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I'm glad that you took the time that you did. I mean, there is that, uh, you know, there is the, the typical cycle, right? The mm -hmm. like college, just like so many other parts of your life, like you're on nobody's schedule, but your own. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> so I'm glad that you did. And I think that you've landed someplace Awesome. So yeah. I'm really excited for you. And thanks for sharing the journey on uh, at the very beginning and yep. now at the end with us. Thank you for having me. You bet. It's like a full circle moment. I know. <laughs> <laughs>